Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a 2017 iMac as an external monitor for a Mac Studio using Duet Display. It kind of works, but it's not perfect. It's a paid product billed annually costing around $42 per year. They do offer a 7 day free trial, which is really nice. I'll show you how to install and set up Duet Display, what problems I ran into while doing it, cover its limitations, and I'm also going to look at an alternative option. I ordered a Mac Studio and had to wait about 9 weeks. I have a 42 inch HDR OLED monitor on the way and wanted to see if I could use the iMac as a main display for the Mac Studio until the monitor arrives. So on to the software. Firstly I set up a Duet display account. You get an email confirmation, should look something like this, and then you just click confirm email and then you're offered a couple of options. I'm going to go with Duet Pro just because it's sort of a higher performance rendering engine so you should get slightly better image quality and sharper image. Start a one week trial, so fill in all your details, then press start trial. I hooked the Mac Studio up to my living room TV using HDMI so that I could get the studio up and running. Next step, install Duet Display on both devices. Here's how to set up Duet Display. It's the same process on each device. So then you can download Duet for Mac OS. Okay, that's pretty quick, that's downloaded. All right then. So next step is I'm going to install Duet OS on this device. Next, you want to open your downloads folder, and then we're looking for the Duet file we just downloaded. It's a zip file, so extract it, double click it. We can delete the zip file. Then we want to double click Duet. Press open. Start the installation. Agree to all the licenses. Authorize and install. Okay, so if it's our first time using it, we've got to go into security and preferences and privacy and make sure Duet's checked. So it gives you a little prompt here. So what I'm going to do now is go down to system preferences, security and privacy, then go to the privacy tab. You want to unlock your padlock, so put in your password. Under accessibility, scroll down and you should see Duet. Tick that to enable it. And then we need to go grant accessibility privileges. And it has a little prompt here, so open system preferences. Again, on here, tick privacy. And then we've got to quit and reopen. And now we want to go to desktop and you want to sign in. Make sure you're on the sign in tab. So fill in your email and your password, sign in. All right, so we've got screen sharing is now enabled. And now if I go into Duet Dashboard, my account, you can see there my iMac is now connected. Next, you want to log into your Duet account on the Mac Studio. And basically, we're going to do exactly the same again. So I'm just going to sign up for the account, fill in all the details, set in all the preferences, and then we're good to go. On the Mac Studio, I had to grant permission on both devices to optimize Duet performance. All right, so the uh, Mac Studio is now powered up. All I want to do is click on mirror, swap my mouse over, and now I've got a Mac Studio running on an iMac. Let's just tweak some settings. See if I get the resolution a little bit higher. Let's go to displays. Okay, so it does seem to be limited to 1920 by 1080, which is not so great, but it's working. The image quality from the Mac Studio to the Mac looked okay when Mac Studio was connected to the TV. And this is where it all went a bit wrong. I unplugged the Mac from the TV and brought it into the office next to my iMac. So I assumed that when I connected the Mac Studio to the Mac, it would be a similar resolution or give me a 5K option. I was wrong. It instantly dropped to HD 1920x1080. HD scaled up on a 5K retina screen looks absolutely awful. I went into the display settings, enable retina, try to adjust the resolution. So I discovered something new. If I chose extend from instead, check this out. We get higher resolution and we get more options. The only problem is it still looks really soft and fuzzy. So it's not really usable in this mode. It need, I think it needs more bandwidth, but it is working. 
I played around with it a little bit and I did find that 2560 by 1440 seemed to give the best results overall but literally as soon as you go up to more space which is the full resolution it just goes to complete garbage and it's soft and fuzzy as you'll see now it's just really tiny you can't read it but if I put it back to that it's actually usable ish but there is quite a lot of delay on it so when I'm moving the mouse around as long as the mouse is plugged into the Mac Studio that's okay but yeah there is a little bit of latency there which is kind of a, for me it's a bit annoying but you know if you were using it just to read text it would be fine for that so I contacted Duet Display Support and asked why this was happening here's what they said unfortunately Duet Display does not currently fully support the IMAX 5k resolution our developers are already aware of this feature request and are working on it. However, there is no ETA as to when this feature would be implemented if possible. Well, I gave it a good try. Will I be sticking with Duet? No, I will put the iMac Studio away until the new monitor arrives. Wait, there's another option. A company named Astropad makes a USB dongle, Luna Display. This may be a better alternative. There's a link in the description. If you have tried Duet Display, please let me know in the comments if it works for you. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe. Well, if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice. And thanks for watching.